Hello everyone, uh, McRaven the Miner here. Um, figured I'd take this chance to introduce myself. Um, as I said, my name is McRaven the Miner. You can call me McRaven. Uh, you can call me Raven too if you would like a diamond sword in your back. Uh, <clears throat> you know, that was a bit too aggressive. Let's take that back a notch. Hello everyone, my name is McRaven the Miner. You can call me McRaven or anything else you'd like to. Alright, that being said, um, this is a new hardcore Let's Play. I know it's not an original idea, but it's something I've watched a couple, um, and I've always wanted to do my own, so I figured, hey, I might as well, right? So, this is it. This is the first episode. This is uh, this is my second time logging in here. I wanted to load the chunks before I started the video. Okay, so let, this is my first time uh, with any real YouTube video or any sort of Let's Play or anything like that. I... Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope I get better at this. I keep saying um a lot, and so these awkward pauses are me consciously trying not to say um. I want to do this hardcore Let's Play world. I want it to be exciting for not just myself, but for the viewer also. Any user input or anything on this is going to be greatly appreciated, and I hope you guys can come up with some really good challenges and stuff like that. Um, to really keep this moving and, and keep this exciting and different. Being hardcore, when I die, the world's deleted. When the world's deleted, this series is over. So, go ahead and come up with some crazy challenges and stuff. Like I said, it'll be exciting because uh, if I die, it's done. So, any, um, any constructive criticism or anything you guys leave as well is greatly appreciated. As I said, this is my first video, and I just, uh, I really want this to be a success. So any subscription or like or anything you include is pretty much a vote for another episode. So please, uh, just let me know what you think, good or bad, and uh, let's play some Minecraft. So, obviously I've spawned in a jungle biome. Uh, right now, I'm playing the latest snapshot, which is week 26 before 1.3 sh shows up. And I plan on, you know, keeping updated to the uh, most recent snapshot as we go here. It's tough to just play 1.25 when there's all these other cool features out, you know, so I like to stay updated. Uh, I also created this map with large biomes. So we'll see what that's like, and hopefully that'll be interesting. I could see that being really interesting in a hardcore world. Maybe it'll make me have to travel more, maybe travel at night. So we'll see. Now, starting in a jungle, pretty cool because there's all these resources nearby, and obviously, you know, you got the cocoa beans and stuff now, which is pretty awesome. Um, but I hate being in a jungle biome at night. I feel like creepers are everywhere. So, all right, I got... 12 wood. Let's get some more wood and then maybe try to take off a little bit. Find a way out of here. Um, I don't want to get too far from the spawn point just because uh, one of my main plans here, one of my major plans here, is to not hit F3 at all. To not use coordinates to travel around or anything like that. So if I'm close to the spawn point, I can use a compass to get back. So I want to keep that in mind. But I really don't want to be in this jungle biome either, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Also, do you guys think that's a good challenge? Uh, kind of a good idea to not use coordinates at all. It'll pretty much be my first time not doing that. I have, for every you know server or single player world I've played on, I have just a notepad full of coordinates of where everything is. So it's gonna be different for me. It's gonna be pretty difficult. Um, I definitely plan on staying on task though. Um, a little bit about myself, uh, I'm 23 years old, I've been playing Minecraft for uh, probably just over a year now, uh, I've been really into it for about four months or so, I'm really inspired by, uh, by Etho, uh, from Etho's Lab, please check out his, uh, I mean, you've already seen all of his videos, I'm sure, but I'll link him here anyway, he's probably my biggest inspiration, and he's kind of got me hooked on uh, all the other Minecraft guys too, you know, Pause on Pause, Ooj, B Double O, uh, Doc M is incredible. Uh, so these guys, you know, are my big inspirations. Check them out if you haven't. I'm sure you have. Uh, 
be watching all of their videos and, and listening to them talk about how they started on YouTube and everything. You know, made me think, yeah, I could do that. I, I should do that. It'd be fun. Uh, it'd be so much more entertaining to be able to share my world with other people. I don't plan on, you know, making it big on YouTube. I don't plan on quitting my job and just making YouTube videos all day or having, you know, a thousand subscribers. That's not... That's not my thing. I just I want to be able to share my experiences with others, and hopefully, uh, you guys, the viewers, can have some input here as well. Uh, wow! And lesson learned: it's pretty difficult to talk and play Minecraft at the same time. This is an acquired skill. Also, they're not joking around about large biomes. Can I please get out of this jungle? So what do you guys think? I pretty much abandoned all hope of getting back to that spawn point, huh? Alright, we have sheep. And we have cows. In other words, we have food. Alright, that's real quick. I promise I'm not a noob. Um, and as you see, I'm using just the default texture pack. Um, I like it for uh, YouTube videos because it's bright. It's it, you don't get anything confused as you're watching it. I watch some guys, you know, they have these weird texture packs. And I'm like, is that wool? Is that wood? I don't know what that is. I just I like watching just plain old Minecraft texture pack. Um, also, I don't use any mods. Um, it's just it's not my thing. Uh, I like Minecraft kind of the way it's meant to be played. I wouldn't, I don't mind mods at all. I'll probably check them out in a little while when this gets really boring for me. Uh, when Minecraft gets really boring for me. But for right now, you know, this is uh, this is the way I like to play. And yeah, I know it's not too efficient to eat just raw beef, but uh, I'm hungry, so this is happening. All right. So the plan is uh, each episode will be between 20 and 25 minutes long. Uh, I'm not going to show you everything. Um, I probably wouldn't show you about a lot of this if I wasn't just talking and trying to introduce myself or everything like that. But as far as resource gathering, everything like that, mining, um, I'm not going to I'm not going to show all that. That's not going to be a 25 minute episode of me looking for diamonds. Finally out of there. Big breath of fresh air. Alright. Also, I hear a zombie. Let's get out of here. This might be an interesting place over here. Maybe a nice place to settle down. Um, but as I was saying, I don't plan on showing you everything. I will record every second I'm playing in this world because I can be rather clumsy. I have a sick feeling in my stomach that when I die, it's going to be something stupid that I did. And I just hope I catch it on video. Um, so... As I was saying, I really hope to, uh, well, I'm going to record every second. And this is really cool. as chunks load here. I think we may have found home right on this river. I actually kind of like how there's a little inlet right here. <laughs> Chunk hair. So what do you guys think of this? And it's close to the jungle, which is nice. I mean, that's a lot of resources. Yeah, these chunks are still loading. Uh, of course, I have it on far render distance. I might want to change that for next time. Um, oh, that sun is going down quick. Uh, all right. Well, this is it. We're going in here. And I know some of you against are against uh, making shovels with wood. But regardless, I'm going in this way right here. Welcome to our first home, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely a temporary home at that. Let me, we'll get a furnace up, cook some of this beef. Oh, and you know what? As we walked by those sheep, I was like, well, that's useless. I can't really set a spawn point here. That was stupid of me. I could have made a bed and just skipped night entirely. 
Well, lesson learned. Alright. Let's just hollow out a little hole here. And, uh... Start living. Alright, so now you see I have a hole here, at least. Um, let's, uh... Let's get some function in this hole. Put a furnace down. Now, please keep in mind, uh, I am well aware I am not the greatest public speaker. I'm also not the greatest Minecrafter, the greatest redstone engineer. I'm not the greatest creative builder. I'm not... I don't really have one thing. I love playing survival. Just Minecraft survival. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy watching this. And uh, I could definitely use your help along the way. Any suggestions you guys have regarding my videos, um, you know, as far as gameplay goes, please let me know. And as far as that goes also, any advice you have on my recording and my rendering, my audio, my video, any suggestions you have there, please let me know. And let me know early. Let me know this episode so I can get them fixed for, for later episodes. Um, if you have a concern with the way video looks or the way audio sounds, most likely everyone else does too. So please uh, just let me know. I want this to be as good as I can for you guys, the viewers. And... Uh, and yeah, I'm a total rookie at this, so keep that in mind. Alright, let's light this place up. Alright. Could probably use a chest in here. Leather is now needed for books, which are, of course, needed for an enchantment table. So they have actually become a commodity where they weren't before, unless you're going to make leather armor. Which, that being said... Thank you for the suggestion, McRaven. Leather armor is a great idea. I have to constantly remind myself, I can't die. Also, I hope you guys liked my intro to this video. I have never done an intro to anything before in my life. So, hey, it's a starting point. I know it's not that great. Um, but considering my skills, I was actually kind of impressed. Or should I say lack of skills? Eh, regardless. I can make some uh, cobble tools now while I'm waiting for the sun to come up. I know, this is so enjoyable. I know you guys just love watching people make cobble tools all the time. What else do I need? I'll need a hoe. I'll also need a sword. Alright. I'm also usually really picky about my how my inventory is set up. Are any of you guys like that too? Like I always have things in a set order on my inventory. This is kind of weird. I'm really anal about it. My sword always goes all the way on the left. My sword or my weapon. Sometimes um, I might not too much here. But my regular just single player series and stuff, a lot of times I'll walk around with just a bow and say, you know, screw the sword, I'm good. Um, my sword, my weapon always has to go in this first slot. And then my pick. Then my shovel. Then my axe. Then these three are kind of up in the air. I can use these for whatever. A lot of times I like to put some blocks here, some building blocks, to get out of areas quickly. And then these last two are always food and torches. Is anybody else anal like that, or am I going out of my mind? I'm just curious. Okay. I don't know, guys. Should I venture it? I feel like... This video could be lame if I just chill in this hole all night. Shh. I feel like I'm being watched. There's a zombie. 
Also, let me check something real quick. Okay. I wasn't sure if uh, in hardcore that you could actually set the difficulty. I want to make sure it was on hard, but oh, there's a creeper up there too. Oh, brother. Hello, Mr. Pig. I'll keep you alive for now. I'll breed you. That reminds me, I gotta cook that beef, huh? Alright, we'll cook that beef up. Also, I'm really gonna want a window or something in here to know when it's daylight in case I go hide in there. So let's, um. Let's cook some sand for some glass and use that as we'll make a skylight or something in here. I know this place is only temporary, but hey. Oh, I really don't like how they're just chilling out there. I feel like they're toying with me right now. They're looking at me going, hey, we could kill you now, you know. But we'd rather wait until you get 20 episodes into this, until you have a world built around you and then destroy you. For your embarrassment. Please don't do that, Mr. Zombie. Alright. Let's get some resources hooked up. Wow, there's a lot of mobs spawning. A hand over there. Alright. I really want those reeds. I really want to start a reed farm early. Because using this, uh... You know, these pre-release snapshots... They're set up the way 1.3 is going to be set up, where it's only 30 linear levels for your max enchantment. So getting those levels is pretty easy. I want to be able to use them as soon as I can, um, especially on picks for mining, and in this case, probably on armor. Screw it, I'm gone. We're going swimming, boys. All right. Is that like the hammer of justice? What, what is that? And there's a finger pointing that way. See that? Maybe it's just me. Maybe one episode we'll sit here and look at the clouds and see things in there too. God, McRaven, you're an idiot. Nobody's gonna like this video now. Alright, let's take this and replant it. Over here for now. The more the merrier. Also, let's get some wheat seeds going on. Get a little survival garden. This is going to get exciting. I just know it. I can't wait to see some of the challenges and stuff you guys come up with. Also, I can't wait to go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon in hardcore mode. It's going to be nice. Which, for the record, this is going to make me sound like a noob, by the way. Maybe I shouldn't reveal this now. I have never killed the Ender Dragon. There it is. It's out. I've never killed the Ender Dragon. Call me what you will. Um... But for the longest time, I spent all my time playing on multiplayer servers, and I was just never the first to get there. Um, I frequent the end a lot, and I made a couple uh, Enderman farms, um, a lot like Doc M's, which if you haven't seen Doc M's Enderman farm, it's awesome. Um, Etho, he has a really cool one too, but the way Doc M's is set up, and I think e Etho ended up... Um, commenting on it also it's just it's really nice uh <laughs> on hardcore uh pvp servers as long as you uh can keep it hidden they're incredible um but yeah uh, i'll be honest with you guys i got really sick of playing on multiplayer servers just because i really got into pvp for a while um for quite a while the problem with Minecraft PvP, anywhere I've seen it, and, you know, hopefully it's not everywhere. But it's a bunch of children that play. And by children, I'm not just saying, hey, it's young people, it's young humans that play. No, I mean children. I mean, I told you guys, I'm 23 years old. Some of these guys are older than me and acting like straight juveniles. And we will definitely go exploring in there. Look, iron. Um, I was just to the point where I was getting so sick of it, I I left. You know, I just left, and I was getting really into it too, which is too bad. Um, but you know, so it got me back into playing single player and everything. Got me back into watching more let's plays, and um, 
I need to plant some food before I go down there. Getting really into uh, you know, different mob systems, everything like that. This is what I really enjoy. So, all in all, it was for the best, I think. But, um, man, I mean, children. Can we just say that? Just children. Oh yeah, I need to cook that sand still. Wow. Honestly, it's incredibly difficult to talk and play at the same time. Like, if you haven't done one of these videos, please do one and try. That being said, most of you probably have done these videos and did a whole lot better than I am. Anyway. This is a pretty cool spot over here. I like it. Like I said, the trees are close. We got some sugarcane growing. We got plenty of animals around here. That'll be helpful. We'll make some animal pens. Now, being hardcore, I'm kind of torn right now, and I need to know what you guys think. Should I build more of an underground layer? I mean, that's typically what I do. I typically build mostly underground, which is cool, but. Honestly, creepers sneak up on me all the time. I swear I'll light every nook and cranny, and creepers will still spawn somehow. That makes me really nervous to be underground, where I feel like it happens more than anywhere else. But should I do that? Should I make a nice underground lair and operate out of there? Or should I build outside? Should I build uh, maybe a little house out here or something like that? What do you guys think? What do you guys want to see here? Um, I'm, I'm curious. What are those leaves? I can honestly say I've never seen that texture of leaf before. It's kind of interesting. Yay, bones. Alright, well, we've got some bones. We might as well use them. I'm getting a lot of eggs, too, just walking around. I think we might have a nice chicken farm later. Then we won't have to worry about food ever. Or arrows, for that matter. All right, where'd you go? Let's get some wheat going on. Boom. Really? Three? I hate it when that happens, when you harvest X number of resources and you get X number of seeds back. I want more seeds than that. How else am I going to grow a farm? All right, well... I got a piece of bread. Nom, nom, nom. All right, so I've been recording for a while now, probably just over 20 minutes or so. Um, I'll probably edit some out. Please let me know what you think, um, good or bad. And as I said before, any subscription, any like, that's a vote for another episode, and I really want to keep doing this. Um, so please let me know what you think. Please let me know how I can improve and what you guys want to see here. Um, give me some suggestions. Where should I build? What kind of challenges should I face? Just let me know. And also, um, now that I have your attention right, right before I leave, I want to point out that on Sunday, July 28th, or I'm sorry, July 8th, I will be doing a 24-hour Minecraft Marathon Let's Play um, live streaming on Twitch TV. Now, it's going to be just me, it's going to be a brand new single player world, and I'm going to be up for 24 hours straight doing this thing. It's to raise money for Child's Play, which I'm sure you've heard of. If you haven't, um, they supply uh, video games and toys to kids in over uh, 70 hospitals worldwide. They're an incredible organization, uh, and I plan on raising some money for them. Um, so please, uh, I'll put a link in my description. Please just come check it out. Say hi. Maybe donate a dollar or five dollars or whatever. Um, but just, you know, come say hi. Come peek your head in. Um, and please let me know what you guys want to see. This is it for episode one of McRaven's Hardcore. Um, and let me go to bed for the night. All right, guys. This is McRaven the Miner signing off.